Your kids might be taking over the Passover cooking duties, and while they are, sit back and relax with Nikki Mayo around town. Dave Neath has taken recycling wine bottles to a whole new level and scent. Everybody likes to sit back, enjoy a book, maybe a drink, and light a candle. That sparked the idea for unwind candles. Dave's Carroll County Company collects about 500 empty bottles a week and transforms them into all natural soy wax works of art. It's something that would ultimately be in a dump or in a trash and it just comes to me and I take care of it and give it a new life. One man's trash is another's treasure, but what does it take to go from here to here? We'll have to take the label off, we have to cut the bottles, we have to sand the bottles. Dave then places the wicks and pours the melted wax. These candles are so hot. We are the official candle of the 2012 CMAs. Country music stars like Jenna Kramer, Scotty McCreary, and the Eli Young Band found unwind candles in their gift bags at the Grand Old Opry. I got a lot of, wow, this is going to make my stinky tour bus smell a lot better. Passover is the festival of freedom, the birth of Judaism, and a time for matzah. Welcome to the model matzah bakery. Howard County's Lubavitch Center for Jewish Education teaches youngsters how to make unleavened bread. Because when you experience something and you know what goes into it, that's something that you remember forever. They turn the wheel. So how do you like your matzah? Round or square? While the square matzah meets the technical religious qualification for being kosher for Passover, the round handmade matzah is much more traditional and authentic and closer to the matzah that the Jewish people actually baked when they left the land of Egypt. Happy Passover. For The List, I'm Nikki Mayo.